everyone, George from Zenhub here. This video takes a quick look at Scrum for GitHub. We're going to look at how Zenhub gives you a Scrum Team workspace, which is where you'll find your Scrum board, your sprints, your reports, including burndown and velocity. We'll also look at backlog refinement, sprint planning, and how to run your daily Scrum. All right, let's get started. Let's look in at a Scrum team that started work using GitHub issues, tried out GitHub projects, and found they needed a little bit more. So they added Zenhub. Here we are in a Scrum team workspace. The first thing you'll see is the Scrum board with columns that you can define however you'd like. We've got a column here for epics, an epic being a body of work that's gonna take a few sprints. I can click this button and see just those issues that roll up into this epic so that I can really see what's going on with our high priority goals. Speaking of sprints, Zenhub's automated sprints allow you to create sprints on a schedule, no more manually creating milestones, it will move unfinished work for you, and will automatically build new sprints from your backlog up to your velocity. And you get to make the final call on what's in and what's out. Our sprints are tied in with the reports, so you can quickly see your burndown and velocity and see exactly how you and your scrum team are doing. When it's time to plan the next sprint, you can check out what your average velocity is so that you make sure you don't overcommit. In addition, Zenhub supercharges your board by giving you multi-select, a great refinement view. So I click on the issue, we can come together as a team, have a round of planning poker, say this seems like a medium effort user story. We can assign it to the next sprint and we can put it in the product backlog send it right to the top so we make sure it gets in for the next sprint. Running your daily scrum? Oh, it's easy using Zenhub. Let's collapse the pipelines to focus the team. We'll collapse the sidebar so we can see more of the board. And now we'll filter by assignee so that we can say yesterday I wrapped up number 26 and it's ready for an end of sprint demo. Today I'm working on number three. I am not blocked and go on to the next. Having a blocked pipeline is a great way to call out issues that you may need to take as a scrum master to the scrum of scrums. It'll also be easy to spot work that is started but isn't up to date. So this one is being worked on. Let's move it into in progress. Done. Oh, and those epics that I mentioned, they power our roadmap you can very quickly see at a glance the status of longer term projects. The roadmap works like a burndown. If the progress bar is to the right of today's date, you are ahead. If the progress bar is to the left of today's date, you are behind. If this project was behind, you'll notice that it turns red being blocked or yellow for being at risk. If you want to see how this team got started, check out the link at the end of the video. And you know what the best part is? No more friction. No more fighting with your team trying to get them to update tickets in an external tool. They stay in GitHub, they close the issues, which they're doing anyway, and that feeds the reports and roadmaps that you need to help the team run. Zenhub gives you everything you need to do Scrum in GitHub without compromise. Try for free at zenhub.com and make sure to check out some of our other videos. See you next time.